What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos and today more exhaust problems. I am having bad luck with this two brothers exhaust and it's just it's grinding away on my nerves. I ended up popping more rivets. Popping more rivets on the band. One of them pops out. Next thing you know, the carbon fiber is starting to crack a little bit. And I had a couple extra rivets. Look at this. They just the hole start expanding. This one's starting to crack on the inside. There's the bottom of the shell starting to crack. I am oh look, 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 look. See that? I am just having a shit ton of bad luck with this Two Brothers exhaust. Pop rivets the first time, pop rivets the second time, but I don't think carbon fiber is as strong as they want you to believe. It looks cool as shit. That or I talked to Two Brothers, they said because now I have the exhaust on, I have more airflow. The scooter's running lean. Because it's running lean, it's running hot. Because it's running hot, it's burning the resin on the carbon fiber, causing it to break down and get weak. The holes expand, the rivets pop out, and it's just bad luck. It's just bad luck for me. So, to remedy the situation, I once again how to buy replacement parts another hundred and thirty dollars plus the two hundred dollars i spent on this that's three hundred and thirty dollars i could have just bought a whole new fucking system man i could have just bought a whole new system and it breaks my little heart because you spend money on your toys and you want your toys to take care of you and you take care of your toys but sometimes it just doesn't work out according to plan and let me show you what i got so i ended up getting a new aluminum canister. I went ahead and got aluminum this time. No badges, just a straight aluminum can because it's stronger than the carbon fiber and hopefully it'll hold up better under the heat or design flaw of carbon fiber. So I got a new aluminum canister. I had to get obviously a new repack kit so I can go ahead and pack the canister that came with some rivets. Last time they hooked me up with a couple of the bands. This time I had to pay for it. So I got new bands to go on the carbon fiber. Sorry, to go on the aluminum. And I went ahead and bought a new inlet because I fucked up the drill. The holes, they're just too wide on this one. I think I just drilled them out too big and that doesn't help the rivets hold in place. So I went ahead and bought a new inlet. That's $60, that's $50. Repack kit is $20, taxes and shipping, 130 bucks. They ended up sending me the end cap. They didn't send me the inlet, they sent me the end cap. And I was like, dude, that's the wrong fucking part. He's like, oh man, I'm sorry. They said, I don't know if he charged me for these extra rivets but it was the wrong fucking part. They had to send out the new part, but he said, I can go ahead and keep the inlet, that, the outlet. So I have a new inlet, I have a new end cap, I have a new canister, I have a new repack kit. I'm gonna have literally a brand new canister, literally a brand new canister for my Zuma 125. It's not carbon fiber. It doesn't match. I didn't want to throw on the stock one, so I spent money on replacement parts. So that's today's project. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw it on there. It's just a little Zuma update on my woes and troubles and worries about this pretty cool carbon fiber exhaust that just really is just shit. It's just shit. It's not as strong as they want you to believe. Maybe it's just the heat is causing it to wear. Maybe it's just carbon fiber was wrapped too thin. But it looked cool. 
We're gonna have to go with shiny. Shiny is not my thing, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your best wishes. And uh, I'll give you a shot when it's done. Subject detected. 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 Detected.